Good afternoon, people. Welcome to day 26 of Halloween and to a film called The Tomb of Nosferatu. This is filmed, made in 2023. A couple of guys called Andrew Dark and Nathan D. Lee. They wrote it, they directed it, Arthur Dark stars in it. And I never heard of this film before, but it's about husband and wife. They're going to Germany to visit the graves of some of the cast and go to some of the film and locations of the 1922 film Nosferatu. And they get there and they having a good time. They go through an arch where Nosferatu carries his coffin. They, they go to the grave of Gustav von Wangenheim, who played Hutter. Then they go to the grave of F.W. Murnau. Then they go to the grave of Max Schreck. And it's when they get to the grave of Max Schreck, the, the woman is drawn to this grave. She finds it first, and then he, he finds her later. She finds and she's taken over by a presence. And which later we will see it is a shadow. A shadow of Max Schreck and Nosferatu. And then the film goes on similar-ish to a Dracula film. The woman is possessed and gets taken or drawn to a castle. I'm not sure what this film was. Because there's very little stuff online of it. I think one of the personal letterbox has seen it. Um, the, the IMDb synopsis says something like, Almost a century ago, two filmmakers make a homage to Nosferatu. But then at the bottom of the line it says they unleash something from cinema's past. So I don't know what time period we're supposed to have this made. But I'm guessing it, it, it's modern. It feels it's like it's a, a modern film made to look like it's from the time of Nosferatu. But it can't be because when you go through the arch, um, in the background you can see traffic lights that look modern and a white van that looks modern. Um, but all of the the landmarks that you recognise from the film Nosferatu pretty much look the same. So I don't know what time period it's supposed to be set in. But it felt like it was an old film and it was in the present all at the same time. And the music they use, I thought, this this sounds like the music from Nosferatu. I don't know if it's all the same, but most of it, I think, comes from Nosferatu. I've seen that film many times. I know the main beats of the music. And, yeah, they also use the, the circular motion to fade in and fade out of shots. Um, And I loved it. It's 35, 36 minutes long, but I absolutely loved it. It has the feel like it belongs in the Nosferatu universe. Two actors, you can tell they're kind of modern people just by looking at them. They don't quite act like silent artists acted back in the day. But how does someone who born today act like that when they just did it second nature? The final end shot, I loved it. I absolutely loved the final shot right at the end. That was fantastic, I thought. And there's lots of the shadow moves around like Max Shrek did. And the hand, the shadows stretch out like Max Shrek did. At times I thought whoever the actor was, his head was a bit too round. But that's neither here nor there. But I, I love this. I, if I was given it a mark out of 10, I'd give it a 9. I, if you like Nosferatu, it's worth a watch. Um, and I thought to myself, is this the real grave of F.W. Murnau and Max Shrek? Well, I looked online, F.W. Murnau's got a big statue, and it's exactly the same, so that was cool. Um, and it was, just, it was just a lot of fun. And also, it's got clips of the film Nosferatu as well. Um, they carry fo photos around of the cast and the director and... Yeah, a very pleasant surprise. 
I really, really like this film. So that is the tomb and the tomb, the tomb, the tomb of Nosferatu, made in twenty twenty three. Um, very much worth a watch if you like the original nineteen twenty two film. I've got to be ah, you have to be a fan. You don't have to be a fan, as I said. If you like the, the original film, it's worth a watch. So that is day twenty six. A very pleasant surprise. Anyone else seen this? Anyone else heard of it? Letterbox would say nobody else has. But yeah, any comments are welcome. <laughs>